This week on Football Friday Primetime, a rematch of the past two 5A state championship games. Now from WHO 13 Sports, this is the Football Friday Primetime Coach's Corner, powered by Homemakers. Hello and welcome to Coach's Corner. I'm Keith Murphy. Couldn't ask for a better game than this top five matchup of the past two champions. Ankeny, the 2020 champ, comes off a tough loss to perennial power Dowling Catholic. Southeast Polk, the defending champ, is undefeated, ranked number one, and beat Dowling in week one. And we welcome the head coach of the Ankeny Hawks, Rick Nelson. And coach, good to see you again. It's good to be here. Uh, how would you evaluate your team's play through three games? Um, kind of up and down. Okay. Uh, we'll look good, and then there'll be times when we're like, whoa, I just can't believe we did that. Um, so we're a work in progress right now, but I, I think we'll get there um, by the time the end of the season gets here and we hope we're in the playoffs. I, I think we'll have a really good football team. Now, what will it take to beat a team – as good as Southeast Polk has looked? Um, we just talk to our kids every week about being the best version of us, mm -hmm. not who we're playing. Um, so we try not to help them. We, we've probably on almost every drive in the first half of all three games, we offensively uh, had just not executed the way I know that we can and the way the kids know they can. Second half, then we'll come out and play pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to need to start fast against Southeast Polk. Um, it'll be a physical game, just like our really last three games were, were very physical football games. So um, we hope that we can slow down their tailback. Um, that looks like it's going to be a really good challenge for our defense. I'll boo some of the Southeast Polk tailback. Looking at your schedule or at Southeast Polk's schedule, there, no Fridays off. In, in, in this schedule? I mean, how do you keep your team focused just one game at a time, as they say? Well, I, I think right now we've got our team's uh, attention. I mean, mm -hmm. we had several opportunities against Dowling to, to do some really good things, and we just didn't do it. So the kids know that we have a good football team, um, but we're going to have to play better if we're going to beat teams like Dowling and Southeast Polk. And you don't have to worry about uh, your players looking ahead, at, looking past Southeast Polk. No, <laughs> yeah. um, no, I, and, and I, they're looking forward to playing them. I mean, obviously they uh, beat us last year in the state championship game, so they're, they're looking forward to the game, and I think it'll be a nice venue. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people, and so um, it'll be a good Friday. Uh, uh, they got you in the championship game. You got them the year before. That's kind of one of the unique things about this matchup is these two teams have played in the past two 5A championship games. Yeah, it's pretty unique. I mean... For, what, seven or eight years? I'm not sure. Dowling mm -hmm. was the, the champs. I think it was right. seven or eight. Uh, won seven in a row. Seven in a row. Um, yeah, so we're hoping that, uh, you know, we can make sure Southeast Polk doesn't win seven in a row. So we're hoping we can get there again. Uh, your quarterback, J.J. Cole, how much has he improved? Um, J.J. throws the ball really well. Um, we're just having some lapses, I'd say, in offense. Um, you know, whether maybe it might be a protection or maybe it's a read or um, he can make every throw that anyone wants him to make. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to need to see better play from him and, and really our whole offense to win this game. You have some transfers in. You have Jamison uh, Patton and Jason Williams. They've uh, moved to Ankeny, joined the team. What did these two guys bring? Well, they're just wonderful young men. I mean, uh, as good a football player as they are, they're, they're better young men. Mm -hmm. And so we couldn't have asked for two uh, – better kids to come and join our program because they're just uh, they're salt to the earth they work hard um, they fit right in right away the kids really like them and obviously they're both good football players speaking of nice young men you know Justin Cerency my my prime time partner is usually here on coach's corner but uh, Justin just had a baby a baby boy uh, Jennings so uh, he's out right now what are your memories of Justin at you and I well um, I think two years ago I was here, we called him Silky because he was so silky smooth. Right. Um, I, I remember sitting down with him and his parents in, in Minnesota and recruited him. Um, he was just uh, probably the neatest memory I have is when we were playing Western Kentucky in overtime and the corner blitzed and um, <coughs> Sanders threw him a fade ball and he caught it. 
on the end zone. The, the safety got over the top just right at the last and, and hit him, but he, he crossed the goal line. And that's when Western Kentucky, I think, had maybe won one or two national championships. So that was really a neat memory. That's why they called him Silky Smooth. That's right. All right. Coach, thanks for coming in. We really appreciate it. Best of luck Friday night. We'll see you in, uh, at Southeast Polk. Well, thank you. Thanks for All having right. me. All right, when we come back, we're just getting started, by the way. Southeast Polk head coach Brad Zaletovich talks about his team's fast start.